Hey y'all. Hey. Hey friend. Hey. Girl, guess what? <laughs> I'm back on your screen. So look, listen y'all. In today's video, I will be doing my bar cart and my bookshelf tour. I asked you all answered. I asked if you all wanted a tour of my bar cart and my bookshelf and I had a lot of responses saying yes. So that is what we will be doing today. Like I ain't finna be doing all this talking. I ain't finna be rambling. Look, listen, I don't have all that extra stuff like everybody else have on their bar cart. I have a lot of glass on here. But that's all I have and um, it is what it is. I only use it for wine. I do drink vodka here and there and um, I just don't have none on here right now. But that's okay. So look, listen girl, let me just shut up, quit talking and let's jump right into the tour of my bar court and my bookshelf. Let's rock, let's rock. Can you rock for me? Okay, y'all, we're gonna start with my bookcase, y'all. Took me a minute to get the pieces that I need on this bookcase because I wasn't for sure on how to do it. I purchased this bookcase at the old house and I never utilized it. I never put anything on it. It sat in the living room and I never did anything to it. So now, fast forward, we are here in the new home. I've decided to go ahead and utilize this and decorate it. I really didn't have a vision for this so I enlisted Gail to help me. Most of the pieces on here I purchased myself. Gail did purchase this. I didn't know where to put everything so she set everything up for me. I'm very proud of how it turned out. So let's just start from the top. I'm gonna work our way down. So okay, starting right here at the top, on this side here, the picture that you are looking at, that is something my son brought home after boot camp. I don't know what never forget means. And it has a date on there, December the 7th, 1941 to September 11th, 2001. I don't know what this means, but I know it holds a special place in my son's heart. I don't know, I, I just don't know what it is. And because it holds a special space in my son's heart, it holds one in mine as well. So I decided to set this up here, you know, every time I walk in into the home or into the living room, it just, you know, remind me of my son, even though I have like pictures of him all over the house. So anyway, right in front of that is a heart that my son purchased for me. And it is a clock. And he got a personal message engraved into this clock here. I really love it. Let me see if I can read it to you. Let's see if it focuses. Okay, it says, you excavated the ground, built a platform I can only stand, gave me the tools to build also, showed me the way, step by step. Stay true to your craft. And it says, you're my foundation to success. And down here it says, Happy Mother's Day, Ma. Love, Darius. Yeah, he calls me Ma. <laughs> I think that is so cute. And yeah, I think that made a great addition to the top of this bookcase. And next to that, I have an hourglass. And next to my hourglass is my globe. I purchased this globe when I first moved in the old home. When I first started to purchase things for the home, I then was going to use this color blue as my pop of color. I never incorporated that shade into my home decor. This was the very first piece for its home decor that I purchased for my home from Home Goods. I forget the price of it, but I love it. It's blue and silver and chrome, and it's just a perfect fit for on top of this bookshelf. And so on the second shelf, I have these two pieces here. Again, I don't know what they are. I really don't. I don't know what these are, but Gail saw these in Home Goods and she just thought it was just so perfect for this bookcase. And as it turns out, she was correct. It's perfect for this bookcase. I think I showed you all this in a haul or one of them times we did go to Home Goods. The smaller one was $14.99 and the bigger one was $16.99. And I didn't see a place for it. Like I felt like it served no purpose and I'm sure I may have said it back up there wrong. I'm like, what is that? Like, what? <laughs> So next to that, I have these two pieces here. These came from 
Burlington. This one was $9.99 and this one was $7.99. How did I have a sitting right here? Right here? Right here? Hey. hey. Was it like that? I forgot how it was. Like this. I don't know. <laughs> is that how it was? Oh, girl, but anyway, it don't matter. So that is the second shelf, though. Like I said, those came from Burlington. These came from Home Goods. So down on the third shelf, I have these two pieces here. This piece here came from Pier 1. It was $14.95. And this piece here, I think I remember, I think I hauled this and showed you all this. This piece came from Home Goods. And it was $29.99 from Home Goods. And I just have it sitting here. I think these two pieces complement each other really, really well. It's just so cute. And over here I have my books. You all know when I got these books, if you are interested, you can check down in the description box. They are linked down there. But I also have these really, really cute book ends next to it. It's a globe. And they were $14.99 a piece. Ain't that crazy? A piece? Really? I had a fit. But I knew I needed them and I knew I wanted them really, really bad. And I needed to bring these home with me. So, you know, I sacrificed and went on and purchased this. Like, it's not worth $14, or is it? I don't know. But it is heavy, though. So, look, listen. I have one, you know, on each side of the books. And then I just have my little plant that came from, I don't know, probably Marshall's home goods i don't know they all over the place so you never know where you get these little things from and again i got these books it came in a set of 12 for 190 some dollars i got them like last year actually it's almost two years it been two years either a year or two ago i don't know girl but it was a total of 12 books and like i said the link is down in the description box if you are interested in these books so down here on this shelf i have this really cute piece i think this piece came from brillaton as well it's so cute like it's so perfect i bought both of these pieces at different times and it just happened to work out and this piece i purchased from ross and i think they complement each other really really well and that's the only thing that i have housing on this shelf and then down here on the bottom shelf it's nothing much you just have this vase here and this vase here this vase came from pier one for 29.95 and i just have it sitting on some more books the black and white cat i purchased those from the goodwill and is the price still on here? I think they were like $2. Give you a close up of the cat. This is how it looks. I guess you could stick something down there. I don't know, but I purchased these from the Goodwill. They are really, really cute. And the white one is just the same. And this is what I have going on so far. I don't have any plans on changing it. I really like how it's looking right now. I was kind of conflicted with these two shelves here. I felt like they wasn't complementing each other. I felt like it was too heavy for both, for both of these to be in the middle, but it works out. I don't know, I was thinking about me taking this part down low or vice versa you know to try to balance it out i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about but i know it's cute that's all i know so yeah that is the bookcase before my board cart is not all of that you know glam this board cart is big enough for me to do a little bit more but like I said the only purpose that I have for it right now is to store my wine because I do drink wine or whatever and I do drink vodka like I did tell you all before but I just don't have it you know decorated just yet so anyway above my board court i have this mirror that i purchased from home goods i think it was like i forget the price i don't know but this mirror came from home goods and here i have these three little candle holders on here that i purchased from pier one you all have seen these so many times i hauled these back year before last from pier one and then i have this little cute little wine candle holder thing here it said all you need is love and a bottle of wine and i just stuck one of my wine stoppers down in here it sits in this and it has a blue candle inside of it 
and um, it's made for you to light but I don't feel comfortable doing it because I think the glass may break so it's just sitting here for decor purposes and I did purchase this from the Goodwill I think it was like two or three dollars and then here I purchased this lazy Susan I guess that's what you want to call it I don't know girl but look listen I purchased this from home goods I think it was like $30 I don't know. I can remember something like that. And here I just have my Z Gallery decanter. You all know about that. Another little cute little piece from the Goodwill. And uh, of course the wine of the moment is sitting here with this cute little wine stopper. I think I showed you all this before. Gail purchased this for like five bucks at the Goodwill. Brand new, still in the box. So that's what I'm using now. And then I just have a little cute plant sitting here. This plant came from Marshalls. It was like, I think $4, I don't know. No, it was $5.99. I take that back. It was $5.99. And then this is the wine. And let's just start with this wine glass. This cute, cute little wine glass came from Pure One. And over here, hope you can see it. Over here, I have some more little. Oh my God, where did these come from, girl? I think they came from Pure One because at that time, last year when I was doing a lot of home decor shopping, I was mostly, mainly in Pure One. I think those came from Pure One. Uh, we'll get to that down there yeah i think those came from pier one they did yeah those came from pier one and um i just have those sitting there so this is the top part of the bar cart i think it's really cool i mean it's chill you know it ain't overwhelming you know i have everything i need you know what i'm saying so look listen we're gonna move down to the second shelf here so down here on the second shelf this is the place that holds your wine glasses and i just have these wine glasses here uh these wine glasses came from the dollar store all of these i'm sure uh for a dollar they are very thick this one is thin the bigger ones are really really thin you have to be careful so i just have two different sizes here we do use these here and over here on this shelf, I hope you can see it, is another de decanter from Z Gallery. And then this is the space where you keep all of the wine. As you can see, cracked one open on last night. And we just have three left, so you have an empty space there. But yeah, uh, my favorite wine. My favorite wine to drink is Josh. I really love this wine. Like, it's just everything to me. I love Josh. That's my favorite wine. And then down at the bottom, can you see, girl? I hope you can see. And then down at the bottom, I just have two more wine glasses. Again, these came from Pure One for $12.99. Just have a little bling in the middle here. And I have two of those. And then I just have this little shaker here that I purchased from Ross. And it's just sitting inside of this tray. And that's what I got going on down here at the bottom of this board car, honey. This is the board car for now. This is what I have going on for now. You know, it's just, it's perfect. It's perfect for me. Like, this is all I need. And like I said, I do occasionally put vodka in here. But I don't have none at this time. Because, um, you know, I'm not a real big drinker. But I do drink. So, I'm, I'm not going to front and say, you know, I don't drink all that much now, honey. I just don't do it because, you know, I just, the way my life's set up, honey. Honey, I go to work, come home, do my time, be a mommy, do some cleaning, work on being a boss. You know, I got so much going on, so you know, I can't really let it kind of hinder me. But baby, I'll drink every day if I could. So look, listen, y'all, this is the board court, and I love it. I love how it turned out. I love the ambiance of it, how it has my living room or this space. Someone called this a space this adjacent space between the two living rooms and things. I don't know, but yeah, like I said, this is the board court. I really love it. So, okay, y'all, that was my tour of my board court and my bookshelf. I know this video seemed a little bit all over the place and a little bit rushed. To be honest, it is rushed. I have a lot of things to do. You know, you have so much time to do what you have to do. So, yeah, this video is a little bit rushed, but I'm sure you all get the gist of what I was trying to show or get the message that I was trying to convey. So, look, listen, though, if you all have have any ideas 
on what else I could do to my bar court, please comment below because I really appreciate some of you all comments. Like you all helped me get this living room together. The only thing I didn't do, I believe, is like put that TV over the fireplace. A lot of you all wanted me to do that, but I just couldn't part with my entertainment system. So look, listen, if you have any ideas or anything that I could add, to my bar court comment below i really really would appreciate it so look listen y'all i ain't talking about nothing y'all i ain't so look y'all i'll see y'all the very next time i turn this camera back on so until next time until the next video bye bye y'all hey <laughs> yes let's rock